are we are we ready, uh, Dennis? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Okay, welcome back to Mensch Life. We are so pleased to have with us Cantor Aaron Ben Sassoon. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you very much. And his Ud. And Ud, right. How do you spell Ud? Ud. Well, in O U D. O U D was it uh, will be in. Uh, o U D. <laughs> okay, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, so uh, and um, it's a very interesting uh, looking instrument. It looks a little bit like a guitar. Yes, it's a string in instrument. It's one of the oldest instruments. Mm -hmm. It goes back to you know to the temple times, and it's one of these. Uh, some people say that David, Amelech David the king, this is, was the one of his the instruments that he oh, okay. played. So so it goes back a long way, it goes and a it's long got way. Uh, quite a few strings yes, there. Have eleven strings, <coughs> and they're doubled. Right. So, uh, and but there's no frets actually. It's a very a difficult instrument because it's like a violin is right. it's like a mic you could that's when you use the microtones and things that are very interesting unlike the western uh, classical music which has half tones and whole tones here you have like each note is like broken into four parts almost uh, right yeah. well very i was in intricate complicated, complicated yeah. i was introduced to your music i'm doris has has uh, heard of you before but i was introduced to you when we had um uh, what was the gentleman's name? We had from Jonah uh, f a few Marcel. weeks ago. Marcel, Marcel. Marcel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from Jonah. Very yeah, nice. Right. Very and we saw very a clip of you in, a, in playing. And we saw some right. of that video of you right. at York right, right. playing some of your music. Right. But I've heard you in concert, and you bring something to, to, to this country that no one has ever done before in total. We have wood players. We have people playing... Middle Eastern instruments, mm -hmm. but there's a totality that you bring that is very, very unusual, probably because of how you started. You're born in Morocco, aren't you? Right. I was born in Morocco. In Fez? No, actually, it's a small town called Mogador. It's on the south part of, uh, of, of, uh, of uh, the country, and it's surrounded. It was like a little island surrounded with water. It's a beautiful uh, city, and they had many saints in there uh, living in this uh, um, special people that wrote books and wrote different things on Judaism and uh, quite famous and people go back all the time to their to the tombs to the to their graves to pray and to ask f you know for p different kinds of prayers and one of them is Rabbi Haim Pinto Alava Shalom he was a great the Pinto family also my great-grandfather was buried there he was also a, a kabbalist you know and uh, studied mystical mysticism no, not the way we know it today you know the modern anybody can go into any sure. center and just right. learn yeah. but actually you the know real people, the real kabbalah. thing the real kabbalah what you really gotta know the, the whole torah before even studying to know what the word means do you come from a family like that from yes a, I, I from come from a rabbinical yeah very, rabbinical very family? big family yeah and, uh, and they were from father to son, almost to the teacher of Maimonides. They go back. So it's 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 kind of scary to even to talk about it. But it's uh, it is in the encyclopedia, the Jewish encyclopedia. It talks about my fa my <coughs> my my family going down, all, all the way down where the, where the city where I was born, and uh, it's a an, an, very interesting. I mean, they all were rabbis and. And head rabbi is actually my grandfather was the head rabbi of Morocco about forty years ago. So this it, 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 this kind of background does put a responsibility uh, on me to to expand on the on the cantorial part, means you know, on on the prayer part of praying to God for for Jews and all all, all people, not just Jews, but to bring the essence of music as a vehicle to to bring people closer to their creator and that's basically what i would like to expand my music to if i can do a little bit or bring a little bit light into this world then i accomplished something and then um, that's basically the and you also music. have a commitment to keep it authentic right. there's a lot of music it's called fusion where you combine <coughs> Sephardic <coughs> with right. rock, with right. uh, Israeli, with uh, Fiji. Right, right. Do you right. c 
combine things or do you keep it authentic? Do you well, keep it pure? Well, some of it I keep authentic because you have to keep the authentic because I grew up with that music. But in the, but in the same token, to reach other people who know, let's say, the blues or mm -hmm. jazz, to give them in their own world, in their own language, a little bit of that, I don't see that as, as, as not being pure or not keeping, but it's a total different vehicle to get people to, to so maybe So you feel, introduce feel. the elements of blues or jazz into right. your into existing... This, exactly, exactly. And that's actually what I'm doing now in New York. I'm working on a record that's doing this world Could we music. have a sample? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An that, advance. Uh, I, I could give you a little sample of that. But So that's like sort of a, f that has a blues element in it. For and interesting. It's interesting. It just comes out. Did you write that piece yourself? No, no, no. I, I make that up on the spot. That's what you just made that I on the spot. I just made that on the spot, yes, yes. Really? Yes, it's what's, what's interesting in the music. The words and everything. Yes. <coughs> well, no, the words are from the old text, let's say from Ben Gabiron Shlomo, you know, Yehuda Levi, which are. Uh, writers and poets from the 12th century, Kabbalist poets. Okay. So the words are so authentic and so deep that they dictate to me on the moment the music that, that, that comes wow. out. Can you yeah. tell us uh, roughly what that meant in English? Uh, it, well, okay. Ani Agid Bikal Amzu, you know, that I will tell, I would be telling the world in, the, in this generation, Bikal Amzu, Sheva Hliotzer, a praising to the per, to the creator that created us, Eli Ram, Eli Ram. Eli it means God, the powerful, and 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 the sustaining force in the world. Wow. It just happened that to come out that, that I thought about those. That words. was really incredible, Aaron. Okay, Thank we you. have to take a short break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to hear more wonderful music with Cantor Aaron Bensalson. Hang in there. Okay, we're back here with Cantor Aaron Bensasson. Of course, uh, we've got his uh, email address on the screen. So if you want to take it down, if you want to contact him uh, about uh, gigs or exactly. whatever, whatever. Um, whatever it he's, is, uh, he's I'm, open. I'm here. He's open to hearing from you. And obviously, you travel. You've been traveling to New York and different things. I travel a lot. So one of, one of the things we're talking about in the break was that um, one of the things you like to do is uh, fuse, fusing Ashkenaz and um, Sephardic music, which is very interesting. My, my first wife was Sephardic, and uh, the marriage didn't work out. <laughs> but, uh, but it's a great thing. I mean, I learned so much, and I really miss the couscous. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and uh, her her mother was a wonderful. And if I told you her name, not that I'm hiding it, but then we're going to get into a whole Jewish geography. Oh, her brother's cousin <laughs> in the synagogue. And blah, blah. So you know, uh, but anyway, uh, I think it's a great idea what 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 you're doing to fuse those two music. Would you Can you give us an example, uh, Aaron? Sure. Uh, okay. 
to give you an example of uh, the words in Kabbalistic words, Anavda de I am a servant to you, God. When we open the Torah on, the, on Shabbat, on every day, we, we, we read these words, Anavda de Kuchabiruhu. studio is going to be uh, standing outside here. Uh, that was incredible. Um, did you just make that up, or yes, that you just, you just made, made up? up? Yeah, except for the for the refrain, the the, the melody, which I composed. I how, how how does this happen? That you, you can do it, you can improvise on I the spot like well, this. But that's what a cantor is <laughs> supposed to do. It, it's really you are uh, moved by the words of the, and the text of the prayers. And so uh, and not, not too many cantors could do it. No, I'm cantors. sure. So this this is a this the text was is a prayer. It's a prayer. It's yes. talking about uh, the uh, that that uh, the richness is really in in, in God and it's the power of God and 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 and, and, and the alright also which is the power of the Torah that uh -huh. was given to us as as a vehicle to get to know Him to get to cl to be close to Him to do the right thing to help you. Your, uh, your your brothers, your, mm -hmm. your, your 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 people that are in this world to to, to, to help them. In a, that, that doesn't matter which 
category in what religion they are. We are all brothers and sisters. We have to come together. And the music is a strong vehicle to bring people together. And that's why I was together with uh, Marcel Cohen, who has this uh, Jonah, Jonah to, you bridge know, to bring to bridge to between different right. types of people and interfaith and an interfaith, an interfaith group. group to, 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 to what, what influence has modern Israel on your work, Aaron? Modern Israel has a lot. I, first of all, I'm a, a totally Zionist, you know, since because my father, you know, always spoke to me about Israel, and we grew up in a home that we spoke Hebrew, so Hebrew was a very, very strong language and that we identified with. So Israel is, is a place where it's, it has so much history and so much sanctity in it. The, 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 the <coughs> temple was there. So I, uh, I mean, actually now I'm, uh, one of my dreams is to, uh, to go there and do something for, for Israel. So uh, there is a friend of mine, Rabbi Constantine in Tel Aviv, He's building up a synagogue, and I would like, to, I'm going to go and join him slowly, a couple months here, Beautiful. two months here, to, to make parties and make these people, the young people of Israel, because there's not too much Yiddish kind going no. on in Tel Aviv, you know, so just to bring them. Uh, That's, wonderful. That's wonderful. That's um, wonderful. And if there's people watching uh, who have synagogues, Ashkenaz or Tzfardic? You've you've worked at uh, at Ashkenaz synagogues, even yeah. though you're Tzfardic, yeah. and you really and you bring something so unique, so Thank beautiful you. to bridge those traditions. Um, we might be able to get you if we have time to to play one more song, but we're going to give take a break. I'm going to go get you a glass of water <laughs> you. <I'm only> <laughs> because you're working hard. Thank you. It's so okay. we're going to give uh, Aaron a short break. We're going to give you a short break. Come back with us. We have one final segment. And we're gonna we're gonna look we're gonna look to finish off with the real bank. So hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back here on Mensch Life with uh, Cantor Aaron Bensasun. So we just wanted to mention the synagogue that you're talking about in Israel. It's called the Tel Aviv, the Tel Aviv synagogue. synagogue. The Tel Aviv synagogue. And if they want to find out more about that or get in touch with you, your, yeah, your email address yeah, is on the screen. Of course, people can also contact me. We have just a couple minutes left, so we're going to go out with this last final tune that just represents our, our attempt to reach out right. with our neighbors. It's got some Arabic uh, flavors to right. it and it should be uh, uh, hopping uh, to door snuggly dancing over here in our chairs. Great. Okay. okay. <laughs>
fabulous. Thank Rabbi you. Aaron Ben Sasson, thanks so much for Thank being you. with us and for Thank that you for inviting wonderful me. treat. I appreciate it. And come you. back. I will. Until appreciate next it. week, don't forget to be a mensch. Lila Tov. Lila Tov. Shalom. Lila Tov. Shalom. I'm David Grossman. Doris Epstein. See you next week.